Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to episode number four of the Human Resource Machine. Uh, last off, we did some multiplication, which was, um, yeah, a bit long and drawn out. Next up, we're on the zero terminated sum. So I guess we're going to basically exit the sum if we get a zero. Yes, we believe in educating our employees on their job here. Do you know what a zero terminated string is? Yes, it's a very old technique, and we don't expect you to know. So you may ask me about it if you like. Or you may ask an external source. Whatever helps you get the job done. Right, so the inbox is filled with zero terminated strings. What's that? Ask me? Ask, ask me, your boss. Add together all the numbers in each string. So basically... Yeah, whenever there's a zero, that's basically the end. Put your sum in the outbox, rinse and repeat. Alright, so... Copy to... Alright, so if that is that. Copy to zero. If it's zero. Alright, so if it's zero before we've started. zero, copy from zero, move to the outbox, repeat. Okay, so we're going to actually need to copy this to... Alright, get rid of that. Add... Add to five. So if it's zero, that means the string is zero. So copy from add to five and copy to zero. So then if it's zero. Copy from zero and send it to the out box. else we're going to go back to the inbox and then we're going to add right so if then we pick up zero we're going to copy from zero and head back to the outbox it's not zero, then we're going to add it to zero, and then copy it to zero, and then we're going to jump back to here. Alright, let's see what that does. wrong. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, 
Alright, cool. How many steps was that? What, 15? 10 or fewer. So we can optimize that by 4. And by 9 steps as well. Obviously by taking out the um, instructions, you're obviously reducing the, the speed kind of thing of it as well. So, um, alright. We will mosey on back to that one a little later. Next up is the littlest number. To reduce our carbon footprint, management is requesting the smallest numbers only. This is a public relations exercise. The results are going straight to the landfill. For each zero terminated string in the inbox, so first we need to find, you know, okay. Um, send the smallest to the outbox only. Send to the outbox only the smallest number you've seen in that string. You will never be given an empty string. Reset and repeat for each string. Okay. So take that. Copy it to there. If it's a zero, then we're going to do something else. If not, we'll jump back to here. Right, so if it's a zero... Oh, but we need to like create a loop here, don't we? Alright, so if it's not zero, then we will do another inbox. Copy that one to there. And then we'll do a subtraction against zero. If it's a negative number, so on, let's think about this. That'd be, in this example, we had six and 11. We'd have 11 minus six is a positive. So if it's negative, If it's negative, the last number is the shortest. So if it's negative, we'll go to there. So if it's negative, the last number is the shortest. So we would go back to... Oh, man. That's not right at all. Alright, so take one out, copy it to zero. Take the next one out. See, this is where I think we've got to loop it here. So, we'll take the next one out, copy it to one. This is where we need to. Copy it to one, copy it to two. So if it's a negative, two is always going to have our result. Copy from two, move two to the output, and jump back to the beginning. All right, so we have one, we have two. So now we need to do a subtraction subtract from zero. If it's a negative, so what did we say before? Six minus 11. If it's a negative, then that means copy one will be the, sh the smallest. So then we're going to do it's negative. copy from one, copy to two. Else going to do a copy from zero and then we'll jump to here so it'll give us that into there
No, we need to copy from two. But if it's negative... If it's not negative, then... Two is already that's already the right one, so that should be right. All right, let's see, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so six into there, eleven into one, two there. There we go. Oh, but it's a zero terminated string. So we're not doing anything if it's a zero. So. Why do I need that negative? I don't. That needs to be if zero, not if negative. Get rid of that one. Let's try that again. I need to go back to here as well, I think. Nope. That's ignoring the zeros. Should be one. That's what happened there. Okay, so there's a zero. So let's just deliver the two. Forty two, zero and two. We pick up the thirty seven. It's not zero, so we're gonna copy it to one. And then gonna subtract to one gives us minus 5. If it's negative, we then copy from 1 and move it to 2. 37. Alright, so next number. 68. Copy it to 1. Subtract from... Z oh yeah, subtract it from 0. Again, though, I just need to change that to a subtract from two, right? All right, so let's do this. Two, seven. Minus 45, that's a seven. go. Challenge completed. It is 16 though. We're going to have quite a lot of um, optimization to do in this one I think in this game. All right next up is the cumulative countdown. What is the purpose of this assignment? I think it's something about calculating the value volume beneath staircases. We have to put the intern somewhere. For each thing in the inbox, outbox the sum of itself plus all numbers down to zero. 
For example, if inbox is 3, outbox should be 6, because 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 6. Alright, so, get from inbox, copy to 0, bump, and we're going to copy to, hold on, so we bump it, if it's negative, copy to 0, copy to 1. If it's negative, copy from 1, send to the outbox, and repeat. Alright, so if it's not negative, then we're going to do a subtraction on 1, and copy to 1. Let's try that. Let's try that. Oh, wait a minute. I want to sub, I want to add. Copy to one. Oh, we need to jump back around again. Of course we do. Which is going to be... That. Right? Definitely can be optimized on the steps point of thing. Because we was getting negative numbers. So where's the zero? Oh, that needs to be an if zero. Zero, or if it's negative, so that'd be the twelve steps. So I need to optimize it slightly. Do we need to copy it to both, though? If we took that out, copy to zero, bump zero, I think it's going to throw a wobbly because there's nothing there and I can't add nothing to nothing. Yeah, I've got a copy of there. Zero. Zero. Take off from there. But I don't think that's going to work, is it? That would have to go. That zero would have to go straight to the outbox.
There we go. That's a bit more optimised than like the steps. Still on 12 commands. Yay! Huzzah! Midnight Petroleum! Fortunately, tonight's midnight drink is only water. She's a lonely, lonely person working there at midnight still. I'm gonna see something at the window. Back to work, Chuck. Oh, somebody's watching you. It's the machines. Machines are watching us. They're all around us. No! Skynet has risen! Damn you, Cyberdyne systems. Alright, career milestone number four. Achievement unlocked. Next up, we are on the storage floor. Year 29 of our career. Big changes are coming, but I see you already know that. Yes. You can now access slots on the floor directly. What does that mean? You will see. It's going to change everything. Alright, imagine each thing in the inbox is an address, and each address refers to a tile, 0 to 9, on the floor. Your task for each address in the inbox, pick up the letter at that address and outbox. Congratulations, you can now access tiles on the floor indirectly. Observe this example to see how it works, compared to what you've been doing. Alright, so, I should be able to do... It's basically like uh, an array. So, I'm going to copy from... Alright, okay, so, what we're going to need to do... Get rid of that. Take it from the inbox. Copy to... 10, say. And then we're going to copy from... 10. And then we're going to head to the outbox. And loop back around. That should just be it. That should be... Nice and simple. Pretty basic array. Just accessing the right element of the array. String storage floor. Special convert assi covert assignment. Management is requesting strings from the floor. Let's just process the strings and not read or discuss what they say. It would be impolite to read messages intended for someone else and forbidden. Each thing in the inbox is an address of a tile on the floor. For each address provided in the inbox, outbox the requested item from the floor and all following items on the floor until you reach zero. Okay, so, take an inbox, copy it to 24, And then we're going to copy from 24. If it's a zero, we'll jump back to here. Else we're going to go to take it to the outbox. And then we need to take another thing from the inbox. And then we're going to jump to here. Why was you expecting a H? For each address provided in the inbox, outbox the requested item from the floor. And all following... Oh, okay. Sorry. 
I totally misread that. It's my bad. Alright, so if zero, go to there. Else, we're going to then bump up 24. And then we can jump to there. There. Target is a wake. Take this. The target is awake. Take this. Excellent. It's kind of like a, um, a for loop, is what we just achieved there. Basically, uh, what you do in programming a for loop, you'd uh, define a variable, increment it, and then keep looping around until you reach the um, ceiling value. All right, string reverse. I think we're going to do the same thing here, but in reverse order. Hello. How are you today? Haha. Ah, -ha. okay, ser seriously. All right. For each zero terminated string in the inbox, reverse it and put the result in the outbox. Okay, so take the inbox. Copy to zero. Bump that value. And then, okay, so inbox. If it's zero, we're going to do something else. But at that point, we're then going to go back to the beginning. Right, so if the inbox is zero, box is zero then what we're going to do is we're already at the maximum ceiling value that we've just copied so then we're going to want to do copy from here send it to the outbox decrease this value here no value and then we're going to want to If it is so, then, yeah. If it's negative, go back to the beginning. So we're going to need the zero value. That's what we need to remember here. We're going to need the zero value. Else, we're going to jump That's gonna work quite right. All right. Let's just let's just test it out, right? So we got zero. Oh, we need to bump it negatively first. Yeah, because we're already at the ceiling, of course. That's right. Yep. All right, so bump it first. Let's try again. That then goes to there, then, I guess. Yeah. Right? I think so. Glorious failure, out of bounds. Yes. But if it's a zero... Alright, so, if it's a zero, we need to use that zero. So, let's write the zero to... Here, for instance. And 
And then right before we start... We're then going to want to do, right before we jump back, we're going to want to copy from here and copy it to here to reset the value. Wait a second. Oh, we're, do we need to copy it again first? If it's zero, copy the zero to thirteen. Copy from fourteen. Reduce the value. That's what I need to do. to move them up to the top. Was it optimal? That's the question. No. Alright. Wow. 20 odd and 4 off there. Alright, good stuff guys. That's going to bring us to another episode of Human Resource Machine. As always, I really hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, leave your comments down below. Always enjoy reading your thoughts as I'm going through these puzzles. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya.